Okay. Oh, man. Let me see if I can get Artist Alley on the line here. Uh, hello, Mariel and Tyson. Are you there? Can you hear me? Hey. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I really wanted to visit you guys. I'm sorry we put the Artist Alley so far below the parking structure this year. Is that How's everything going? Is the air conditioning okay? or? Yeah, it's all right. It's okay it's so far. Enough. I mean, you know, we had to kind of take what we could get considering we got kicked out of AX. So. Yeah, it's fine. No, we'll take care of you guys. Listen, listen, we're going to make sure next year it's going to be less than 99 degrees. Next year we're <laughs> aiming for 98. So we're hoping Mega 64X, but we do have an anti-animal policy. <laughs> Um, we'll have to, He's talk gone. About, we'll have to chat about that later. <laughs> anyway, uh, welcome you guys. Uh, thank you for doing this con. We really appreciate it. Um, it has been sad this year, the lack of summer cons happening. At least I think, has it been sad for you guys or are you like stoked to have like a summer off from that stuff? I think any other year I'd yeah. be sad, but <laughs> this, this year is just its own beast entirely so yeah. honestly one less thing to worry about i'm fine <laughs> even even last year things have gotten so busy that every con i did i was only selling stuff from the previous years like i would try and get one new thing out just to oh yeah worth coming to the table but yeah. i always felt bad because i guess you know people that do cons cons are like a lifestyle now yeah and it's, a, it's a well it's a career actually so yeah absolutely will like really show up they'll build booths there will be people with like wooden construction oh, yeah, booths. yeah, like yeah. right i mean like people that take it setups. right they take it seriously yeah as they should um you know they really care and uh i guess i'm getting to that point a little bit where i've got so much other stuff going on over here on like other stuff that I yeah. can't show up the way these people show up. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a, well, I don't know. I mean, sometimes sure. Oh, I can't imagine you're working on anything else other than getting ready to go to cons. So that's a mystery <laughs> to me. It doesn't even register. I feel like, you know, I honestly, I, I'm doing a bad job here because I failed to even properly introduce you guys. Uh -huh. I know who you are. I'm, you know, I don't know. So maybe some people don't a couple of them, Mariel has done so much stuff for Mega 64, and that's really her only notable credit. So that's all we'll say there. No, <laughs> but she's done so many like... great designs for us, some new ones that actually came out today. So that's really yeah, cool. But you've done all kinds. I mean, years. I mean, go down the list though. I mean, you know, Skull Girls, Indivisible, all these great games you've worked on. I mean, all this stuff. So you got a great list of credits, and then Tyson, Tyson worked on officially the only movie that came out this year <laughs> sonic the hedgehog maybe some of you guys saw am i am no. i allowed to say that you did birds of birds of prey also came out birds of prey i didn't see that so that's not no, no relevant to me mm. um <laughs> no, just streaming anyway. but uh but yeah you worked you did work on the sonic movie and i think people all around the world do want to thank you in case they haven't enough already you know, for just taking and enhancing the only piece of group entertainment they really got this year, yeah. mostly, you know, okay, the other stuff. But uh, I think people are very appreciative of what you did and what you brought to that. So I want to say thank you on behalf of everybody. Um, how does that feel? Does it feel, I mean, did, I mean, is that like a good feeling or? Yeah, it's, it's complicated. Um, whenever I guess, you know, I, I started that, bottom like anyone else you know so I, I started with web comics and um just trying to get my name out there mm -hmm. and it, it's it's weird to be attached to such a large production where when, as soon as my name kind of enters the conversation mm -hmm. uh people almost hyper focus on it a little bit <laughs> you know like yeah nobody nobody knows the name of the guy that designed alvin and the chipmunks or the smurfs for i do oh i oh i do chris do that guy <laughs> rules um <laughs> I think i'm sure chris worked his ass off you know, <laughs> to make those smurfs yeah uh as great as they are uh but you know it, when it, i guess because of um my trajectory mm -hmm. it's a different conversation than normally happens on one of these things and so mm -hmm. it's like while i'm honored and uh and had a great time working on that movie it is it is weird to have so many people know who 
the designer was mm -hmm. for the character in one of these things. But normally I would just be in the rank and file with the rest of the VFX team and the designers. Sure. Um, sure. So but it, it, but if I can interject my opinion on it, I think it's because you do such a good job carrying the sonic torch in your, you know, just, just even in your online presence over time. And of course, also guys, I, I forgot to even mention this. I mean, the Sonic Mania intro, I mean, that's like one of the, that's like the most Sonic joy I've ever gotten of anything I've seen in the last <laughs> few years, you know, obviously aside from the movie, but, uh, you know, that I think you've done such a good job carrying that torch over, so you know, so, uh, this amount of time that I, I don't know. I think people want to celebrate you. That's it. I think people yeah. are stoked. Well, I, I think we're, we're getting to these points now with these big franchises, you know, like Ninja Turtles or, or Sonic or, or any of these things that kind of sprouted up in the 80s, where now everyone that grew up with those things um, have entered the workplace. And mm -hmm. it's, yeah. almost, um, it's almost like there's no excuse to give these things to anyone but the fans that really yeah. know, right? Yeah. Um, and I think, uh, you know, like the people behind the latest, the rise of the TMNT show and mm -hmm. the, the other one that started in 2013, um, mm -hmm. they're all huge Turtles fans. And I think that's why those shows turned out as great as they did. Yeah. Because they took what they loved and put something new into it with respect yeah. for it, you know, without completely throwing everything out the window. Um, but yeah. rather kind of knowing what they love about it, but then also realizing that things need to evolve and change as we go over time. Yeah. And Sonic is one of those now too, where it's coming up on 30 years. Yeah. Um, there's almost no, it's, too long. <laughs> it's, it's a, a long, long time. time. Yeah. It's been a long ass time. Dude, this, the whole, all the time shit going on. I'm, I'm over it, dude. I saw this has nothing to do with Sonic. Sorry, but I saw a thing yesterday that was like, check out, uh, pick up a copy of inception, 10th anniversary of inception. That's a brand oh, new no. movie to me. 10th but, anniversary of inception. Like what is happening? Yeah. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, but you didn't work. But you, neither of you worked on Inception, so we're not going to go into it. Um, <laughs> but uh, based off my life story, though. Yeah, well, there you have it. But but uh, no, I think, uh, like I said, I think everyone thanks you for what you've done, and and uh, you know what 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 it, what uh, what do you think? Like, what's on? The, is there anything you could say on the horizon? Anything interesting with that, or you know, Sonic related, or anything cool at all in this godforsaken year? Give us some Sonic news. Uh, geez. I can't give you Sonic news, obviously, okay. here. Um, Fair enough. They, they have announced that a sequel is coming, obviously. Cool. Um, I think everyone kind of saw that one coming. So that's great. Um, I obviously can't share any details on that. But it's nice that, you know, what what was set up in the first one, um, I, I think the, the directors and the writers really have high hopes and, and high goals mm -hmm. set for the sequel to really even – make it more more sonic -y. Um, cool. so i think you know it's it's nice to have a franchise movie like this take off and, and be liked and not just be another one to throw in the pile of video game movies that nobody cares about sure um but uh, as far as other sonic stuff um there's a couple things happening but obviously cool. that's gonna be <laughs> what happens in yeah. a franchise like this uh, yeah I can't talk about well, that's fair enough. That's understandable. Now, Mariel, you obviously Indivisible came out last year. Um, everyone here loved it. Everyone had a great time with it. That's still so crazy to me. Yeah, uh, is I it? I mean, you worked on a long time, right? I mean, sorry, we worked you worked on, on it a long time. Yeah, no, it was so. it was like four four years or yeah. I, I don't even know anymore. It's just all a blur. Yeah, well, every, everyone here was like super thrilled with it and uh, just loved it. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, it just it just came out in Japan, actually. Um, oh, no kidding. So it got a it got a gold in Famitsu. Which That's what like, I was just going to say. I just yeah. saw I saw people were posting that on Twitter like, damn, this cleaned up. So that was kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that was nice. Um, I mean, yeah, it's 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 doing OK. I think I'm still just kind of like I can never bask in my own success or failure i just sure. i just need to like keep working so you know just heads down on the next thing basically sure yeah and so uh i remember the, um, you know i'm trying to thinking back to some of the other projects that were happening last year was it i'm trying to think back was it last year you had your art book banned from from being <laughs> sold at conventions year? i think it was okay 
it felt like so long ago. Like this year is. Yeah, is it really. Else. Yeah, it feels like that was like a decade. It feels like yeah. it came out when Inception came out. But um, <laughs> that was so that our book was last year. But that ended up being like you ended up putting those online, and that was a big hit, wasn't it? Like, didn't? Yeah, it? no, they they did they did really well. I think I did basically as well as I would have done at AX, so it was fine. Yeah, that's awesome. That's great. Do yeah. you have like? Do you think you have another one of those lined up soon or? Um, not a new one. Just okay. Like over the past couple of years, I've been working on like personal stuff less and sure. less. Just I don't have the time anymore. Yeah. Um, I think I'm getting old is what's <laughs> happening. But yeah, well, I, you're in charge of things now. It's like, yeah, it's different. Like when you, <laughs> you yeah, have that'll get other you. things you, you have to do that take up your entire day. Yeah. Uh, it's different when you're done with your work for the day than it used to be. All, you know? all I have done like this entire quarantine has been on calls. Yeah. Just like, Oh dude, tell me about it. I'm, if I have to do another video yeah. call, I mean, no offense to <laughs> this situation. This is different. I had to, you know, I'm running the con here, but, uh, oh my God, they're driving me insane. And then you wait yeah. 30 seconds for them to respond. And then it's like, I'm sorry. Oh, I talked over you. Oh my God. I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> um, I yeah, can't writing do anything, anything in a room with five people on a video call. Yeah. It's just, sounds fun. Yeah. Like sounds you, cool. It's like a great way to riff jokes. <laughs> Just saying we, something funny and then waiting for the laugh just to make sure it landed. Yeah, exactly. We we were doing our podcast that way for a little while. For a while, we were doing it all through video call. But little by little, we started adding more people to the studio. We did something that I've, I have not seen any other show do. And I don't know why, I don't know how we revolutionized this. But we started green screening our guys in other areas into our set. So Sean looks like he's on our set, but he's not. How has no one else? James Cameron has not even done this. He's do, he's doing Zoom calls. What? We're the only people who do green screen our friends all into the same room. Like, this is what it's come to. Yeah. I was so tired of FaceTime that like it came guy, to that. The guy doing Daily Show, you can tell he's just in his home office, like yeah. in his chair. Like, he's wearing like a hoodie every day, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone uh, else yeah. is just giving up. Jimmy Fallon's practically dead he's just he's wasted away but yeah, we no we got innovative up. and i don't understand no one no one's innovating what is that there was a everyone's tired everyone's tired i'm I, tired I, I haven't even seen any of what the late show people are doing but like ben uh schwartz and thomas middleditch were on fallon i think or no they were on cordon uh a couple of weeks ago and the way they shot it it was like no pretense at all to trying to make this like a Hollywood production. It would do over the shoulder, like over James Corden's shoulder onto his laptop where you could see yeah. Ben and Thomas, like their little zoom pictures just on the <laughs> laptop <laughs> in terrible quality. Oh, cool. Like, couldn't even send them a good microphone. To <laughs> you know, I didn't know until recently how bad the AirPod mic was. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like it, that uses AirPods is yeah, like just, terrible audio. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, my parents watched the to like uh, they watched Talking Dead, the show after Walking Dead, where they talk about it, I guess, and right. they're doing it from home too, and they all sound pretty good. And then like the host will be in AirPods, and it's like <laughs> the zombies oh, it's are coming. Like it's really bad. Yeah, it was really surprising. Because Apple normally. They do it perfect. They're the they're they are the best, flawless, and I don't know why how they dropped the ball on that a rare miss for Apple. <laughs> I do have to endorse Apple. That is uh, no, but uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, but that's okay. Well, you know, we, the, with the video call thing, it does get a little tiresome, so I won't keep this on forever. But uh, again, uh, Mariel, I want to say thank you on behalf of everyone watching who has always loved what you've done for Mega sixty four and stuff like that. They're really digging everything. The uh, the acrylic, like the neuro, like acrylic figure thing. Right, I, I, yeah. We have them, and I didn't bring one here, but um, oh, turned out shit. great. Everyone's really digging yeah. that. Um, no, I'm, I think we, I think they're all sold out, actually. So sorry. Okay. Um, you know, just if you want to pre-order one, I'll let you know when the link goes up. But um, <laughs> no, everyone's really stoked. Honestly, like you've been doing that for a for a long time. You, you're. I mean, honestly, I think out of all the artists that we work with, I think we've been doing that stuff with you the longest i think of anybody i think yeah, no I, I think i was just saying i think it's like 14 or 15 years i think Man. i started this when i was eight 18 that's crazy 18 with you and i'm 33 i'm 33 yeah. do you know 
I don't know. I think, <laughs> I think I'm 33. That's crazy, man. I didn't yeah. real. I didn't realize yeah, it so, had been that. Yeah, maybe it's it's 15 years. Yeah, that's nuts. Well, anyway, every, everyone thanks you. They've loved the stuff over the years. So thank you for doing that. Tyson, like I said, everyone thanks you for doing what you did uh, with the Sonic movie. And, uh, and we're all looking forward to whatever you guys do next. And uh, I do. Oh, sorry. I'm getting a notification. Um, oh, they saw the other guys saw your art book and you do have you can't sell them here either. I'm really sorry about oh, that. Shit. Uh, they need you to run them through the paper shredder. Um, this is the worst year. If, yeah, if you have any oh, leftover copies, I'll come back in a few minutes and we'll get the foot. If you can se- or just send iPhone footage of you just running it through the shredder. <laughs> I'm really sorry. We have to yeah, verify that they're killed. Um, really sorry. Anyway, I'm going to I have to head back to our booth because I'm sure there's like a huge crowd there. Um, it's just insane. We're just doing so well. I can't believe, oh my God, I have to leave. All right. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you have a lot of long lines later. Um, the con closes at like two in the morning. So just stick it out till then. We really appreciate it. Uh, take care. I I have to leave. I can't stay. I have to leave immediately. All right. Take care. Bye. Yeah.